When you walk alone in the woods in the deep of night, maybe you're not so alone after all. It won't take long for a buzzing, creeping, crawling array of creatures to surround you, above, below, and on all sides. Moths, beetles, and even parasitic wasps will join you in your journey through darkness. But there is nothing to fear. Nocturnal insects are both mysterious and fascinating. A group of insect lovers recently found this out for themselves, joining Clemson University entomologist Michael Caterino at the South Carolina Botanical Garden for a free event called Light Up the Night. And what a night it was. I'm really excited to have such a good turnout here tonight. Um, we're at the Botanical Garden, and of course people come here at this time of year because they want to see flowers and bloom and you know, the trees greening up and all the stuff coming back to life. But this is a really exciting time of year for entomologists too. And if you have walked around here a little bit, you've probably seen what carpenter bees buzzing around everywhere, um, maybe caterpillars hanging off the trees and getting on your clothes. And you know, this is a time of year when everything's sort of coming back to life. So, you know, the entomologists are kind of getting out of the lab and experiencing the sun again. And one of the most exciting parts of the insect fauna is the nightlife. So you see all these things out on plants and on flowers during the day, and those are fun to watch, but there's this whole other group of insect species that come out only at night. So that's what we're trying to see tonight. Um, obviously, moths come to all of your porch lights, and you're all familiar with those. There's lots of great um, insects of all kinds that come to lights at night. So we've set up a couple, and you can just see one down the hill back here, which is called a mercury vapor light. And then down just beyond where the road crosses the creek over here, we've got two others that are called black lights. So they're kind of a darker, like a blue light tube. Both of them have lots of UV light, and that seems to be very attractive to bugs. Um, now one question that you're probably all going to ask one of us at some point is, why do insects come to light? Does anybody know the answer to that? Yeah, silence is, is the right answer. Nobody knows why this happens. Um, all these insects just gravitate towards light for reasons that no entomologist really can, can say for sure. There are lots of ideas, um, and one of them, I guess my favorite sort of idea, is that insects that are out flying at night are more or less navigating by moonlight. So if they're flying along and the moon is there, they're sort of zipping along and trying to keep the moon at you know, a constant angle to themselves. And if they get close to a light, then they just sort of have to fly around and around in circles. But basically the program for the night is going to be kind of walking back and forth between the lights and seeing what's coming to each one. Now one thing that we're really hoping to see is a cecropia moth. Does anybody know what that is? Um, this is a, one of the giant silk moths. It's about uh, palm size. It's a big and gorgeous moth that is flying downstate. It may be just a little bit early here, and it is kind of a cool night, but there's a good chance that we could see some here tonight. Um, and I know that some of the students are really excited to, to see those. We may see some June beetles, the very large kind of brown bumbling scarab beetles. You're all familiar with those. You probably don't know that there's at least 20 species that we could see just right here around Clemson of those big brown beetles. So there's a lot of diversity um, and we'll hope to see a lot of different things. We may do a little bit of collecting, but we're gonna try to get things into jars that we can kind of pass around and let everybody take a look at. Um, we'll also be looking uh, on the ground and on the trees as we walk back and forth because there are lots of nocturnal species that don't get attracted to light. They're just kind of out walking around and they come out at night because there aren't so many predators around. The birds aren't there picking them off. Uh, it's a little bit of a safer time for a lot of species to be out. Um, so I'm just looking inside this rotten log trying to find whether insects or other arthropods are in here. Uh, so far, I saw a little millipede. There's a whole lot of springtails, which are little tiny, um, they're relatives of insects, but not actually considered insects. Um, there was a, a wire worm, which is the larval form of a click beetle. Um, other than that, not a whole lot in here. We're just getting started with our Light Up the Night program at the South Carolina Botanical Garden. This is one of the many public programs we offer throughout the year here. We have school programs and programs for children, family programs, and programs geared to adults. One of the great things about this is we're able to offer this as a free program to the public because of great partnership with Dr. Caterino and the entomology department and his students who come out here and set up 
the, the lights and, and educate us all about the insect life of the night. I job shadowed Mr. Caterino for Wahala High School and then I began doing volunteer hours with the Clemson Entomology Department with Mr. Farrow. I'm considering being a wildlife biologist. The June beetles were kind of cold and they couldn't move very much because of the cold weather. And then how the moths shiver when they're cold to get their body moving. 